Hey guys, today I'm changing my torque converter in my 1983 VH Commodore from standard over here to a new 8 inch high stall from SDE. Should give the car a bit more go in the bottom end of the speed range and bring it up to where the motor's on peak power. So the first part of this job is to partly fill the converter just so it doesn't draw as much fluid out of the auto on the first startup. I'm using Newlon Dex 3. You only need to partly fill the converter as you do have to put it on its side to put it into the gearbox. If you fill it, you'll end up with a mess. So that took about 600mm and now we're ready to put the converter in the front of the auto. So now I'm going to install the high stall into the auto. There's three distinct notches you'll feel as you put it in two shafts and the most important, the last one that you'll feel is the oil pump drive which if I put in front of the camera is these two drives here. You want to make sure you line that up, do not try and force the converter in if you can't feel that slot in. issue that a lot of people have is that they'll slot the converter in, line the gearbox up to the back of the motor and force the converter into the flex plate which essentially tries to push the oil pump out the back of the gearbox. Not good, gets expensive in a hurry. So. Very easy. Line it up. In. There's one slot. And there's the second. And there's the third. Simple. Don't rush. You'll have it no problem. If you ever are concerned, if you're changing a gearbox between different engines, say, and you ever are concerned that you're going to have an improper distance between the converter and the flex plate, easiest way I find to measure, real simple, straight edge on the bell housing, measure the front face of the converter, measure straight from the same face this mounts to on the back of the motor, to the face where these mount on the flex plate. That'll give you a distance, there should be a clearance and you'll actually pull the converter forward when you bolt it up. So as you can see here guys I've measured from face to face on the bell housing to the converter. Uh, I've got 20 mil there and if I go to the mounting face here on the back of the flex plate from where the bell housing mounts to the back of the motor that's about 15 mil. Gives me 5 mil of clearance. Okay guys, so the auto is now in, as you can see. I made sure as I put it in that there's still got clearance between the converter and the flex plate. Now, I just thought I'd show a little tip for getting at the top bolts on the back there. As you can see, they're pretty close to the firewall and the trans tunnel. Um, you can't really get a spanner on them from underneath, even with a uni uh, or an extension or a socket. So what I've done is just a cheap spanner, bit of heat, slight bit of uh, extra bend in it and you can just get down there easily to do those two top bolts up and we'll continue from there. Okay, so as you can see, gearbox is in. I've fastened all the bolts around the bell housing and the rear gearbox mount. Next step is to line up the converter to the flex plate, as you can see I've done in that bolt hole there. Um, pull the converter forward to the flex plate and put the bolts in. Okay, so all the flex plate to converter bolts are torqued to 47 newton meters with a little bit of blue Loctite on them and just marked to see if they move in the future. Next is the drive shaft, cooler lines and then fill it up with ATF. So the next step after installing the flex plate to converter bolts and torquing them is to install the drive shaft. Real simple, slip in at the front, center mount bolts, rear saddles. You want to make sure you get that central when you do them up and torque them up. 